is up you guys? This is Mini Superheroes Today. Hey guys, Jonathan here, aka Mini Superheroes Today, and off camera, my good pal and video editor, Jetty, is here. We're getting ready to go to Brick Fair, Alabama. If you're gonna be there, we'll see you there. And uh, I went ahead and made some customs with his help, so this was a fun collaboration here. And as you know, this is Book of Boba Fett Chapter 3, so we've got new characters to make and some characters that I'll explain as we get there that you aren't seeing right now, but let's stop talking and let's get into the video. So a common theme with the Book of Boba Fett is that they show characters that either I'm not going to build or I don't have at my disposal. Now we see a Bomar monk at the beginning of the episode. They're really interesting if you ever look into the history of Star Wars, but anyways, there are several Bomar monks that LEGO has done over the years, so I would just tell you to use one of those. So here we have the water guy, as Jetty and I call him, and that is Lortha Peel. Now, I gotta be honest with you guys, I really don't know if anybody out there watching this video is gonna make this guy, but it's still fun to make them for the showcase anyway. The torso comes from one of the Naboo guard minifigures with some brown legs, some tan arms with skin tone hands, the head from Lore Santeca from Star Wars The Force Awakens, and the hair from either the Bad Batch set, Peter Venkman, it's coming a lot of places at this point. This hair piece used to be rare, but not so much anymore. All right, so here we have Scad and Drash. Now, there were other characters from this kind of teenage cyborg team up, but these were the two that got the most screen time, so just went ahead and made those. The legs and torso for Scad come from Chirrut Imwe from Lego Star Wars Rogue One. Got some black matching arms on there with uh, hands here that match the head of Falcon from Infinity War. And of course, I gave him Cyborg's head from DC. Moving over to Drash, we've got the torso from Mutt Williams, but really any of the jean jacket or leather jacket, to be more specific, torsos should work out just fine for you. On the right arm here, I went ahead and used just a bare tan arm with a handcuff cut off. Um, that's called the handcuff method, where basically you take a handcuff and you chop off the chain part, then you get a nice little cufflink type piece that you can put on your figure. So that's what I did here with a black handcuff from the Lego Collectible Minifigure series. Series. She's got dark red legs with one arm from Wanda from the WandaVision version of Wanda from the Marvel CMF. Man, I think I just set a record for saying Wanda in one sentence. <laughs> Anyways, tan hand on there with the head from Korra from the Lego Tron Legacy set and some brown hair to finish it off. So as the series goes on, it becomes more and more apparent that I need to buy some Lego Pike figures. Now the Pikes, uh, you know, came in the Han Solo, Solo film sets. Man, that movie's still confusing to reference. Anyways, they do exist, they're out there. I definitely need to get some and, you know, hopefully I'll find some at Brick Fair this week. So a really welcome surprise was Danny Trejo, who's a new Rancor Keeper and it was really fun to build this figure. Now, Jetty had the great, great, great idea to use the head and hands from Bay's Malbus from Lego Star Wars Rogue One, so of course that's what we did. The hair and legs come from Tasu Leech from Star Wars The Force Awakens, and the torso is one of these Imperial characters. I think it's an Imperial gunner, if I'm not mistaken. Flipped around, and I think that works out pretty darn well. And speaking of the Rancor, we see a Rancor in this episode. Now, there is a Lego Rancor that exists. Uh, I'm actually buying it soon, and I should have known that they were going to bring a Rancor in. I mean, Boba's living in Jabba's palace. Of course there's going to be a Rancor. But I don't have it as of this video, and hopefully I can get it soon because that's the plan. Hey, maybe I'll find a great deal at Brick Fair. Anyways, let's zoom out and I'll give you my final thoughts here. All right, guys, well, thanks so much for hanging out. Be sure to hit like and subscribe and let me know what you thought of this week's episode. I'll catch you guys next week for episode four of Boba Fett and all the great videos between now and then. See you soon. Well, you've made it to the end of the video. You should hit like and subscribe down below for more LEGO content from me because I post just about every single day. You'll be up to date on all the latest in LEGO, so why not join my community and hit subscribe now?